Take precepts, stay diligent And the most I build it, this army, so now we militant Yeah, how was shy, coming like a thief in the night Gotta stay woke, gotta watch vigilant well, First and foremost, I wanna give all praise and glory and honor to the most high God, Yahweh By shooting my shit out, come like Yahweh shot We are here to, uh, preach our people again, man One more day, man Another day in the cold Another day that we gotta deal with the freezing rain Another day that we gotta deal with the snow Whether it's hot, whether it's cold, man It don't matter we gonna be out here in the streets because we got a job to do, man. Right. Try to get our people oh. out of captivity. Tired of seeing our people calling their sales at the names given to them by their damn oppressors, man. That's that. why we gotta talk about these things, man. Our people are caught up. Tell the brother you gonna call him by something other than his name. He like, I'm cool with that. Man, you destroyed, brother. <laughs> destroyed. Man. How you gonna say if I ask you what's your name and then you go, all right, well, this is my name. I'm gonna call you something different and you just cool with it. Man, that's madness, man. Only our people are bugged out to let somebody do that, man. You walk up to a Chinese man, you ain't going to say, hey, bro, I'm going to call you Jacob. Man, he ain't trying to hear that. His name is Ching Ling, man. <laughs> you call a Chinese man Japanese, he going to roundhouse kick you. He going to roundhouse kick you, man. He going to do that and sleep inside your head, man. What? This is madness. Give me the book of uh, Acts 24 and 17 and give me Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Some people are destroyed, man. It's hot time to wake out of sleep, man. Time to get past all the folly, all the madness. You got that? Twenty-four, seventeen. Book of Acts. Twenty-four, seventeen. 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 Twenty-four, Verse 18, whereupon certain Jews from Asia found me purified in the temple. I said, so that's what we are trying to do, man. We bring it on to our people. And that's not like how the Christian church is, how the only thing they do is pass around that, that nasty, dirty, golden plate. It's just say you put money into it, man. We trying to give you the riches that are stored up in heaven, man. That's right. We ain't worried about nothing that's, that's on this filthy land, man. This place is wretched. It's trash. It stinks. We get taxed. You're oppressed on a daily basis. We trying to get you up out of that, man. Bring out the Deuteronomy. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 7. Bring it out. Remember the days of old. Consider the what? Remember, Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask the Father, and he will show thee. What do we got to do? Ask the Father, and he will show thee. That's what's wrong with our people. They don't know the past. So they ain't gonna know the present, they ain't gonna understand the future. They think that life is just going on, just this is what we are, we just blacks, we just African Americans, we just Puerto Ricans. Man, look up what the names mean, man. You a damn walking proverb and don't understand. You find we're just scrolling TikTok, Instagram, you find we're just twerking, listening to damn Made the Stallion, listening to damn Two Chains, Money Bag Yo. I guess you're just waiting until it's your moment to get caught in the streets like Young Dolph, man. It's right. madness. Right. Give me the book of uh, 1 Samuel chapter 8. Okay. Give me 2 to 3. Come on, what you got? This is the book of Sirach, to the 2 and verse 10. Right Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his spirit and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiving sins, and saving in the time of affliction. I say Christianity love to talk about that grace and that mercy. That's the grace that we got, man. We got the grace. This is this period to get it back in order, man. To get our people back together. Hey, We've been split ever since the books of Kings, man. That's why we are here trying to do the same thing that Christ was doing. We're trying to get our people back together, man. But instead, you know, they, they'd rather just be knee deep in folly, man. So the brother just brought out, he said, did anybody trust in the Lord and was confounded? Where is the faith, man? Where Nobody that you see walking around now has that faith of, of Moses, man, when he was getting our people out of captivity. Nobody has that faith of Ezekiel and Jeremiah when they was getting locked up and beat up, man. Nobody got that spirit of Paul. Everybody love running to Paul, but they don't understand how serious Paul was about this work, man. Oh, we got to remember them days of old, man. 
We got to grind until it's the end. You got to endure until the end to be saved. There's nothing about being saved here, man. When, when as soon as the red and blue lights get behind you, you hop out the car and you can you can end like that. That's not being saved, man. Bring that out. That's crap, Jesus. Uh, first Samuel 8 and 2. 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 2. Bring it out! Now the name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second, Abiah. They were judges in Beersheba. And his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after after uh verse two. Now the same now the name of the firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second Abiah. They were judges in Beersheba. And his sons walked not in his ways. They did what? And his sons walk not in his ways. What are our people doing? His sons walk not in his ways. What are people that's walking across the street when you're trying to tell them who they are? His sons walk not in his ways. But turn aside from. Slack. I can't that word. Luker. It took pride and perverted judgment. And what did the pencils do? Perverted judgment. Go back to the Luker. But turned aside after lucre and took bribes. Yeah. Listen, and that's the world that we live in, man. When you look at the church, when you look at politicians, everybody go off bribes, man. They go off just who you know. They don't go off what you know. They don't go off actions. They just, you know, if you you can slide them a little something, something, they're going to let you pass, man. That's right. But we ain't doing that. There's no respect of persons in Israel, man. The Lord is not dealing with that. He don't care who you are, how mighty you are. Hey, sister. You got two minutes? See that? That's what's wrong with our people now, man. If we was up here with that collection plate playing Kirk Franklin all day long, she probably stopped. Uh, <laughs> go to uh, go to, uh, to verse eight. Verse eight. According to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them out of Egypt. I said, so our people still doing the same thing, man. Ever since we came out of captivity in Egypt, we still on that same motions, man. We still going through the same folly. Go ahead. Even until this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods. What do we do? They have forsaken me and served other gods. What is uh Buddhist? They have forsaken me and served other gods. What is Christianity? They have forsaken me and served other gods. What is Catholicism? They have forsaken me and served other gods. What is white Jesus? They have forsaken me and served other gods. So that's what our people do on a daily basis. That's why you get paid off to bow down to a tree, man. To look at the all the lights. That's why you uh that's why our people deal with uh what what's the Mexican holiday? Cinco de, Cinco de Mayo, yeah. They worship the dead people, man. And then our people caught up in, in Halloween. They call up in Easter. No, a damn well don't know bunny lay no eggs. This is madness, man. You are serving all kinds of other guys. You serving your money. Our, man, our people wake up on a daily basis. They quick to run to that bag, man. But they be like, hey, but we posting flyers everywhere, telling all our people, hey, man, we coming to camp. This is the time that we gonna be out there. This is the time that we leave. We probably gonna link up together at the camp. What's going on, brother? I'll be back with you. Hey, you're a man in your word, brother. Hey, man, thou sayest, man. I don't want the Lord to destroy you out here, man, for, for being a backbiter, man. Bring that out in song. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 101. Bring it out. I have refrained my feet from every evil way. We are done what? I have refrained my feet from every evil way. That I might keep thy word. I have not departed from my judgment. We did what? I have not departed from my judgment. For a willing, man, we never step away from these all statues and commandments. There is nothing in the world to go back to, man. Go ahead. For thou hast taught me how sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than the honey to my mouth. To my precepts. I get understanding. What? 
Through thy precepts, I get understanding. No, through my own thoughts. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. No, but if I just go to the pastor, he got all the answers, right? Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Man, we got to meditate on this word, man. That's why I said that this word is sweet, man. It's sweet. You hear it too. It's like you hear you the chosen people. You gonna get the kingdom, man. That thing feel good. But then you gotta, you gotta, you know, once you swallow that thing and it go down there to your bowels, you realize that it's better, man. Cause then we gotta sit here and look and just notice how dead our people are on a daily basis, man. Seeing how distracted they are by all the madness and folly in the world. I'll pray. I'll pray to the Most High. You came I'll back, pray. brother. Give me the gist of it, though. Gotcha. What would be your nationality? Be black. Be black. But what color is your pants, though? Black. What color is your hand? Black. You sure? I don't know, bro. I think I think your hand might almost be the same color as that hoodie, man. Brown. Exactly. See, see, we've been duped into thinking that we're something that we're not. That's why they gave us the term black. Is because that's associated with everything that's bad. You think of black male, you think of black cats, you think of uh, you being think of being blackballed. You know, it, it's all kinds of negative things with black. But then the heathen want to call themselves white, you know, because they want to claim that they're pure, but nothing is pure about them. When every land they go into, they rape, rob, and murder everybody. But so, uh, if, if I told you that you were chosen children of God, would you believe it? Yeah. Do you? Do you have any idea why I would come to that conclusion that we are the chosen people of God? Tell me. Got you. Well, that, this book, you know, the Bible, you believe in the Bible, right? So the Bible would be a book of prophecy. So everything that uh, that the Lord said is foretold in this book, and he uses prophets to write it out so we'd have understanding in these last days. How do you think that we came over to, well, what were you taught in school on how we got to what we call America? Yeah, but but like what? By what transportation? Well, they came and got it to the slavery and shit, right? They got it. The boats and all that shit. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna show you a verse right quick, but that's in the Bible. Give me that. There's 28, 28. No. You familiar with uh with Moses and what he did? A little bit, yeah. What, what uh what's the biggest thing that that he's known for? It be getting the, the Israelites out of captivity. They was they was in Egypt doing hard bondage. Well, after the, the time frame of when he got us out of got the Israelites out of out of captivity, you know that this book here that we about to bring out. This is a, a story of what happened afterwards. It's a list of curses that the Lord said would happen to His people if they didn't obey the law, statutes, and commandments. Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into what? Into Egypt again with ships. Bring that out again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And so with ships. That's exactly the way that we came here. Because when Moses had got his people out of captivity, they was able to go straight through the Red Sea. He put down the staff and the sea had parted and they walked straight through there. But you know, to get all the way over here, we had to come by ship. You can't just walk through that much water all the way across. And the Lord actually prophesied that this was going to happen. Bring that out. The book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 7. Bring it out! Eleven bread shall be. Book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 3. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day. In which he came out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. So that's how we understand that Egypt is a house of bondage. It's not the same Egypt that, that we're dealing with in the days of Moses. This is later on. This is showing you that this is a spiritual Egypt. Bring that out again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, while I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Say, so when he brought us over into captivity on ships, he said we wouldn't see Egypt anymore. Then we wouldn't see Israel no more. You know, we wouldn't be back in Jerusalem, back where we belong. Go ahead. And that ye shall be sold unto your enemies. I said, and ain't that what happened as soon as we got off the boat? That we were sold to our enemies. So the Lord called them our enemies, but who were we sold to? 
Who is on top of us right now that's running everything? They own all the banks. They own all the phone companies. They own all the buildings you see. They make all these holidays that we believe in. Who would those people be? It'd be, it'd be the white man. The so-called white man. Because we already described it. There ain't nothing pure about them. Keep going on that. And then you shall be sold unto your enemies. For bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. He's saying that no man would buy us. Is, we wouldn't be redeemed out of this captivity by any physical person that you know of. We couldn't get saved out of this by Martin Luther King, by Marcus Garvey, by Malcolm X, by Harriet Tubman. Like, nobody is going to be able to get us out of this. Our people was quick to run to, uh, to Obama, and he ain't even our people, man. He is not a so-called black man. He would be a Hamite. His lineage go back to the Africans. You know, those aren't our people. That's a totally different thing. Bring out a... Uh, you have? Uh, but then, uh, go back up to 15, and then we're going to jump to that one. Okay. So, but with that being one of our biggest curses, you know, we're going to actually explain what I was telling you on how uh, the reason that we actually going through all these curses. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, so the Lord said that if we didn't obey the law, statutes, and commandments, that all these curses would come upon us. That's why we as so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans live on the bottom. That's the reason why we have to go through all the things that we go to, going through. You know, that's the reason why we're on the bottom and they're on the top. Because we already know that there ain't no so-called white man better than us at anything we do. That's right! Whether it's basketball, whether it's acting, whether it's singing. Like, this. man, show me the, the so-called white man, or show me the so-called African, show me the so-called Arab that's, that can compete with LeBron. That can compete with Michael Jordan. That can sing like Aretha Franklin, like Patti LaBelle. Show me the Chinese drill of Earth. It ain't one, man. Because we the best at everything. Bring out that uh, that other curse you had. So that was verse 15 in Deuteronomy and 28. So all the way from 15 down to 68, those are a whole list of curses. Above that would be blessings. That's a whole lot less blessings than it is uh, uh, compared to them curses, man. It's because we didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. You know way I can go ahead and read up on this? I ain't gonna lie. I'm to call me, brother. I'm trying to stand up. I feel you. Well, give me that uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 right quick. So we, we ain't gonna hold the brother too long. Because we got to let pray. him know what the whole gist of this thing I'll is. I'll pray, brother. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, man. It, it be getting cold up here in the Midwest. Yeah, man. that's what you know. Uh, it's cold. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Bring it up. Let us hear the, the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So the Lord said this is the whole duty of us as a people. This is what he made us for, is to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Because right. he already know that we better than everybody else. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6 right quick. He already know that we better than everybody. You know, they can't compare it to us, you know, with anything else. When you read more verses in this Bible, the Lord says that we the salt of the earth, that we be numbered as the sand of the sea. That's why you see our people popping out kids like it ain't nothing. That's why you see the so-called white man that they they numbers are dwindling down. They brought up Planned Parenthood, put it in our neighborhoods, you know, so it can start taking us out and it end up backfiring on them. Bring that up. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. I said, and that holy meaning is set apart. You know, we separate, we different than them. Go on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. No, equal. Above all people. No, we less than. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we better than everybody, brother. Right. Can you admit that? That we, we better than everybody. 
But we already know that the Lord is talking about a, a certain group of people. Hey, hey, He's talking about the Israelites. I think they're talking about white man fresh. Man, I don't see it. See Show me, man. Show me. I'm looking down the street. I don't, I don't see nothing, man. <laughs> they ain't got the swag that we got. I the Chinese man got. Nah. Got I ain't gonna lie. Chinese people got some nice swag. They, they better than yours? <laughs> man. Yeah, what, what's, what's the uh, dances that wear the mask? Oh, hey, brother, moral, moral of the story, you're an Israelite, brother. Damn, right. Damn, Camel Walkies ain't got nothing on his brother, man. It don't matter how much they try to go in our stores, cop our shoes. Dab, man. Dab, man. Hey, only thing y'all gonna be good for in the kingdom is making our shoes, man. You <laughs> gonna be on your damn hands and knees with a toothbrush cleaning our shoes. That's right. You know that? And y'all can't compare to us. Ain't no, no he no got nothing on our people, man. Ain't no kind of way. Uh, no kind of way. There are people who wanna be hand in hand with their oppressors, man. We gotta be a light to these people, man. I don't even remember why I hate this stuff in this song. Oh, well, give me the Hebrews 10 and 1. And then give me uh, X26 and 4. Look at Hebrews of the 10 verse 1. We know! For the law, having a shadow of good things to come. For the what? For the law, having a shadow of good things to come. No, we just to watch the media and accept everything they say. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come. I said the, the law is going to have that shadow of the good things to come. It's letting you know that this is the future, man. But it's only so much longer that our people are going to be caught up in down twerking on cars, shooting guns for the, the, the so-called white man's new year. When you walk outside and the only thing that's different is it was colder than it was yesterday. It's madness, man. Our people are done with all the, the madness and folly. But it's up to us to come out in the streets and wake them up, man. And we give praises and glory and honor to the most high God, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah for that, man. Uh, that's why our people are lost. Go ahead. And not the very image of the things can never with like can never with those sacrifices. Which, that, which they offer year by year continually make the co co commerce there are too perfect verse 2 for then will they not have seeds to be offered because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more co conscience of sins I said so once we in the kingdom man we ain't gonna be dwelling on sin no more you ain't gonna have to remind us what sin is we ain't gonna have to actually be teaching each other what sin is no more, man. We we gonna already know the laws. They're gonna be implanted in us. That's why everybody walk around talking about we in the, the New Testament, man. I don't see it, man. The streets are still filthy, buildings are still falling apart. Damn, inflation's going up, the food is fake. The women's bodies are fake. <laughs> man, they're, they're, this place is finished, man. It's, it's just a clock that's just winding down, man. It's ticking by the second. Doom day is on the way, man. Bring it up. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8 and verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days to come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. With who? With the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Say, man, he gonna make a covenant with his children, man. Not every damn body. He's only dealing with the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. If you ain't from this, these 12 tribes, man, I don't know what to tell you. It's just like that for you, man. Because the Lord ain't going to be dealing with you. He's not dealing with you now. You're going to be a servant. You're going to be a handmaid, man. Just like the way that we had to feed y'all children. Guess what, man? That get back is coming. The same way that y'all fed our children and alligators with stumping babies out on the curb. That's coming, man. That recompense. That due diligence. The Lord is a just man, man. He only deal with just balance. Right. I can't wait till we go back to I-49242, man. Hey, hey, you know, with these damn laws, man. You can't, you can't even go outside without the police breathing down your neck, man. You can't even go outside without worrying about your own people running up on you while you're at the ATM, man. Right. Right. You just right. sitting at the stoplight, man, and Jake just muggy. You don't know what's about to happen, man. That's right. I can't wait till we pass these days. Bring that up. The book of Judges, chapter 2, verse 20. Read it! And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he said, 
because that this people have transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, I also would not henceforth drive out any from from before them of the nations which Joshua left when he died. I said, man, the other people would have been killed off. But that's how you know that the Most High is the so-called black man. He said he hot with us. Don't nobody else talk like that, man. That's Jack Lingo. Say he is hot with us, man, because we didn't obey the law, statutes, and commandments. He's like, I gave you a covenant. I gave you rules to abide by, it, man. But instead, we was living just like our forefathers and was talking about, hey, man, make us a king. Give us, some, give us something to worship, man. They was taking them gold and earrings and rings and molding them and just making them into anything just so people can have something to worship, man. That's madness. Why would you want to worship metal when we got the most high, the creator of all things, man, on our side? Where that thing delivers at, at of Egypt, man? Imagine seeing that. You seeing somebody walk up with a damn stick, put it in the ground, water split, and you're able to walk across. It ain't even muddy. You walk across the same way we stepping on this nasty concrete, man. Imagine seeing that. Your mind would be blown, man. But our people instead, they wanted to worship a damn golden calf. Fast forward now, our people will still want to worship their white Jesus. Some of those given to you by oppressor. That's madness, man. If a white dude cracked the sky, we got another captivity coming, man. That's madness. That would be the worst thing I could ever think of. Hey, brother, sister. What y'all doing, man? Hey, cover the word. <laughs> See that? Man, this place, this place is filthy, man. It's damn wretched. <laughs> Give me uh, the X twenty six X twenty six four. Damn, sitting there humping Jake going across the street, man. This place is, this place is filthy. See, this is the kind of stuff that we only get from damn Esau, man. From buck breaking our people for all these years, man. This is the book of Acts, chapter 26, verse 4. Bring it out. My man of life from my youth, which was at the first among my own nation, at Jerusalem. Now all, all the Jews which knew me from the beginning, from the beginning, if they would testify that after the most greatest sect of our religion, I lived a horizon. A right, a right. Is that Verizon? Pharisee. Pharisee. And now. Philatia. This is the book of Acts, chapter 26, verse 5. Which knew me from the beginning. If they would testify that after the most greatest sect of our religion, I lived a Pharisee. And now I stand and am judged for the for the hope of the promise made of God. I say, man, so we being judged for that promises that the Most High gave us, man. Deuteronomy 28, 15 said that that we was gonna go through curses because we didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. You think the Most High was faking? You thought he wasn't real about that? Come on, man. The Most High keep it realer than any Jake you know ever will, man. He held us to that. He said, hey, man, you're going to go into captivity, man. You're going to hate your brother. You're going to hate your sister. See that, man? Our, our brothers hate each other. you like, hey, man, give me two minutes. Two minutes, brother. If you love me, you listen to the words of the Lord, man. Love is the commandment. The fear in the Lord, man. Keeping the commandments. See that? Man, it's only our people, man. They destroy it. If I was talking to any other nation of people, I bet you they'd be sitting down, they pull up a damn chair, they get an umbrella, they whip out some drinks, be sitting there chilling like it's a damn party, man. Yeah, they be like, hey, I already knew it. You ain't even have to tell me. I already understand. <laughs> this is our people, man. They destroy it. Finish up, read down to eight. For the hope of the promise made of God unto our Father, unto which promise our twelve tribes, instantly serving God day and night, hope to come for which hope's sake, King Agrippa.
people, I am accused of the Jews. Go past that. Go past that. That's eight. No, read eight. Oh, read eight? Okay. Why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that God should write, that God should raise the dead? I said, our people, man, they, they destroy it. They don't realize that we are here trying to raise the dead, man. And that's what's going to happen in the kingdom. When Yahweh Shai come back, everybody that was keeping law, statutes, and commandments, they coming up, man. Them people ain't going away. They spurring some back up with the Most High, but they going to come back. Yeah. Right. The spurs that man, they regenerate. They coming back. Right. Our forefathers ain't went nowhere. They still here walking right in front of you. They still out here telling you the same thing they was doing back then. Telling our people that they stiff neck rebellious and whether they hear them from birth, we still got to come out and tell them the truth. I got right. Come on, bring it up. Book of Michael. One verse two. We out. Here, all, here all ye people. Hearken, O earth, and all that therein is. And let the Lord God be witness against you, the Lord from his holy temple. Verse 3. For behold, the Lord cometh forth out of his place, and will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth. Verse 4. And the mountains shall be vaulted under, under him, and the valleys shall be cleft as wax before the fire. And as the waters that are poured down a steep place. Verse 5. For the transgression of Jacob is all this. For what? For the transgression of Jacob, Jacob all, all this. this. Uh -huh. And for the sins of the house of Israel. For it's like it. What is the transgression of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? Are they what? Are they not Jerusalem? We turn our back on our homeland. So for that, we got to go through all these curses, man. But that's why we waking up in the last days so we can correct ourselves, to reprove ourselves, to rebuke each other and exhort them, you know, all our family members so we can all get back to keeping the law, set you said, commandment, to, uh, to return back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Bring the house home. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 2, verse 8. Ask to me, and I shall give thee the easy for thy inheritance, and the utmost parts of the earth for thy possession. And then, see, we're going to get the heathen for a possession, man. If the tables are going to be turned, we ain't going to be underneath them no more. Having to clock in on that clock, pay taxes, having to go through there for, uh, for hunger, for thirst, for one of all things, man. We finally gonna be past it. So they, they ain't looking forward to that. They hate hearing these words, man. They hate that the we are in the streets waking up our people. They hate that Kanye and Kyrie are bringing people back to the fold through mass production right now, man. They envious of these things. They like, damn, these these niggas, man. No matter how much we try to pull them apart, they they getting mightier and mightier every time they come together. That's right. This ain't like Wall Street, man. You can't destroy what's gonna happen this time, man. Cause the Lord is gonna come back and He gonna be destroyed, man. He coming back in that white garment that's gonna be red from treading through the damn wine press, man. Knocking me off left and right. Bring it up. Look at Acts chapter five, verse twenty-nine. Bring it up. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, "We ought to obey God rather than men." We do what? We ought to obey God rather than men. Say, so we obeying God, man. We obeying the Howard Bosch, Shimmy, I was trying to be on care about the heathen. Hey, family, y'all got a couple minutes of work? Okay. Hey, can y'all can y'all at least take a flower real right quick? Look into some info. Man. Verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hugged and made on a tree. So Christ was an a, a innocent black man too, man. The same thing that we see on the news day in and day out is the same thing that happened with all of our forefathers. Especially the kings of kings, man. The Lord of Lord. The Bosch and Yahushua, they hung him on the tree too, man. Verse 31. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel. Give repentance to Israel. 
forgiveness of sins. 